Well, the Fifteens have never been married. Well, the forests are now disappearing at the rate of 26 million hectares a year. The language is Census night, the festival of the corn. All one census proves is the need of another one. 
My father said the census was just an excuse for people to show off what they had. On the night of the festival, householders would bring out their goods and possessions onto the street so that the census officials could more easily check the inventory of each household. But the festival of the corn is much more than a clerical affair. It's like a wedding feast. There's much cooking, traditional foods, fine wines, strong liquors. Music is played loudly in quiet neighborhoods. Men dance together, and strangers copulate with strangers. In the ancient times, it was a real midsummer festival. A festival to celebrate the wealth of the earth, to celebrate passion. Today, we have no more passions, except one. Our passion for lists. <laughs> of the nation, to know exactly the shape of the coastline, to hear what land may have been lost to the sea, to know what has been reclaimed and what is still in doubt. If the cartographer's report is good, the festival of the corn will be a good festival. If not, <laughs> How was the survey? Will the report be a good one? The official report will be good. Why? Why is it disappearing? For now, it's just uninhabited areas. Places of no use for industry or agriculture. But larger and larger areas are now disappearing. Are no longer there. Some sections of the Halvus and Rangers Stretches of the greater desert, long pieces of coastline. It's like looking at a photograph which has been improperly fixed. Even the fisher scopes can't pick them up anymore. Are you going to? What? Announce. Mm -hmm. Of course not. To announce it would cause widespread panic. But the new maps. The new maps have been filled in from the old maps. No wonder people fear you. Fear. You know what people say about cartographers. What do they say? Go on. Tell <coughs> Say it. That we're up ourselves, <coughs> that we're overpaid, overproud, footloose, that we have no small opinion of ourselves. <laughs> well, you spend your life traveling up and down the coast along the great rivers and vast deserts, and you'll get a good opinion of yourself. You won't make it otherwise.
as a child, growing up in a house frequented by cartographers. I often heard stories about certain parts of the country that were becoming less and less real. When I was little, these stories caused me considerable anxiety. Why is it that beside him I always feel as if I betrayed him? You clung to your mother's skirts. Look at the fool, the poor fool, who have died. They turn to the streets and they drink too much. Am I a fool? In spite of the good cartographer's report and the consequent success of this year's festival of the corn, there are reports of various items being stolen in the early part of the night. A large house in Howard Street disappeared completely, and bands of vigilantes are out looking for the thieves. But reports are also coming in that other buildings are disappearing, buildings which could not have been simply dismantled and taken away. The bomb tower simply faded away as eyewitnesses stood and watched. One eyewitness said he thought the person must be a stunt for a movie. Another said he thought it must be a terrorist attack. The tactical squad has been put in full alert, and groups are beginning to gather on the empty site, some announcing the end of the world, others a visit from outer space. The caretaker said I could see outer worlds, layer upon layer, through the fabric of the here and now. Reports are beginning to come in of dematerializing people. I'll be back in an hour. Stay tuned now for a special report on the tennis. Prolonged use of, say, 
penicillin may result in a dangerous allergy, prolonged exposure of the world to the sun has made it sensitive to light. <laughs> Unnecessary to it. The building, the company, and certain government departments have obviously constituted the threat to the world, which is why, of course, they disappeared. They are no longer needed. People who are not loved will disappear. I don't believe in God. Humanity is God. Humanity is the only God I know. If humanity doesn't need something, it will disappear. People who are not loved will disappear. Everything that is not loved will disappear from the face of this earth. We exist only through the love of others. And that's what it's all about. Look at those fools. They wouldn't know if they were up themselves. It's all right. I can help you. I know what's causing this to happen. My father's a cartographer. He understands these things. Look at me. Let me look at you.
cuddle with me. I'm, I'm a stranger. You can't love a stranger. Besides, I'm, I'm, I'm not lovable. And Am I? See, you can't love me. My, 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 my nose is too big, my eyes are too small, my mouth is too You can't love me. Taxi! As you know, as you know, yes, I know, the nether regions were amongst the first to disappear. This in itself is significant. You told me this before. These regions, I'm sure you know, have seldom been visited by men, and then only by people like me, whose sole job is to make sure that they're still there. 
We had no use for these areas, these desert swamps and coastlines, which is why, of course, they disappeared, of course. They were merely possessions of ours. And if they had any use at all, it was as symbols for our poets, writers, and filmmakers. They were used as symbols of alienation, loneliness, godlessness, uselessness, and so on. You get what I mean? Yes, I get what you mean. Do you? Do you really? I wonder. How old are you? Twenty. Of course I knew. Do you understand the significance of the nether regions? They're like everything else. They're like the cities. The cities are deserts where people are alone and lonely. They don't love one another. Don't love one another. We no longer love one another. When we realize we need one another, we will stop disappearing. This is a lesson to us, a hard lesson for the hope and effective one. Are you listening to me? Are you listening to me? <coughs> I've always looked after you. Ever since you were little. Just reading that message, Post and Yarnoff, two of the earliest and bravest of the pioneer cartographers, have disappeared. Authorities now admit that they disappeared some months ago, and that this was concealed from the public for fear of causing widespread alarm. A memorial service has been scheduled for tomorrow night. The place to be advised once it has been established whether or not the cathedral is still there. Can I get you anything? Can I do anything for you? <laughs> when have you ever been able to get me anything or do anything that I can't do better myself? Hmm? I just want you to see that I understand. You could change your job. You're a fool. You wouldn't know if you were up yourself. What are you staring at? Nothing. Well
I didn't know what to do. Should I tell my father he was dematerializing? If I didn't tell him, would he notice? I felt I should do something, but I could feel already the anger in his voice. The anger was nothing new. But this was perhaps the beginning of one of those tides of uncontrollable rage. If he knew he was dematerializing, he'd think it was because I didn't love him. I thought he'd blame me, attack me. Old as he was, he was still considerably stronger than me. It could have hurt me bad. I wanted very much to feel loved. I tried very hard to feel loved. I thought, perhaps, if I could remember what I felt when I was a child. But then I remembered how he hit me, hurt me, humiliated me, and with my girlfriends. I realized that I didn't love him. I love you. <laughs> I wish you could see the looks on your bloody silly faces. Ha 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 